Hey guys, Thunderset here, and today we are finally revisiting Gratis with me, May. We got new Gratis support from a newish character named Quentin. Super crazy that we're still getting the support. We had seen this monster, Vic Viper T301, in the skill Go Gratis before, and you can summon it out of a regular Gratis. Usually you weren't doing that, usually you were going with Victory Viper, and you were using your power capsules and things like that. But now we have actual copies of Vic Viper T301, T301, whatever you want to say with that name. When an attack is declared involving your face-up monster, so any kind of monster, you can special summon this card from your hand or graveyard, banish it when it leaves the field, and your light machine monsters gain 1200 damage. So... Gratis is Light Machine, obviously. They also, uh, Vic Victory Viper is Light Machine. They're 1200. With this monster out, they are 2400. Now, this monster doesn't do it for itself, so it stays 1200, which is kind of a ripoff. If there's two on the field, they'll do it for each other, and they'll both be 2400. And one monster will be 3600. So, honestly, your Vic Vipers and Gratis get really big, and that means your tokens or Gratis options get really big, and you keep just sweeping over your enemy. So, what do I mean by that? With the skill Go Gratis, we can turn a power capsule in our hand into a Gratis option, which lets us pretty much summon a clone of our Gratis. It'll just be a monster that'll copy Gratis's attack type and uh, attribute. So you can do that, or you can turn Victory Viper, or sorry, turn Gratis into Victory Viper, keep your power capsule, and then you go on the relevant plays. When Victory Viper destroys a monster, you can summon a token, which would work like a Gratis option. Copies your Victory Viper's attack, no matter what it is. So you sneak OTKs. You manipulate the attack of your Victory Viper or your Gratis, with the many ways we have, including Rear Yoku, which is a super, super, super old card. But uh, it works great for this kind of deck because you get a two for one deal. You have the monster and then both your monster and your token are going to get the buff. Makes for a lot of damage. And then you even have Vic Viper who's buffing them even further as a hand trap. So uh, pretty cool addition. We're running Kiteroid. So we can just leave bare fields on first turns, Cosmic Cyclone and back row, leave them with a face-up monster that the Kite Roid stops, steal their attack, finish them off. Very cool deck, guys. I love Gratis. This is probably the best Gratis has been with this new Victory Viper. So, or it's just Vic Viper with this one, huh? Vic Viper. So yeah, guys, I'm super into it. We could maybe use Gravity... Uh, what is it? Gravity Bond? I don't think it's Gravity Bond. Uh, I can't think of the equip. Gravity something, but I got that skill in Quentin where you can search that equip. Just want to go with the OG Go Gratis skill, which does work really well. Because instead of an option, you can actually turn a power uh, capsule into an equip that will let your Gratis pierce. You'll see that in some of the replays. So a lot of little tricks we have here with Gratis. Hope you guys enjoy through this meme main, and thanks for watching. All right, here we are going second against a Yugo. Looks like over 20 cards again, 23 cards. He is full speedroids though. Not the good speedroid skills, but uh, whatever. Two back throw for two Cosmic Cyclone and a Kite Roid. So we're really uh, living dangerously here. We pick off a Wall of D. We pick off a Warning Point. Uh, good use of those Cosmic Cyclones. He's got a Red-Eyed Dice. Boom, into a great fly, which is 1900. Then he's got a speedy recovery, which will give him Den Den Daiko Duke. We're going to Kyroid all the damage, because we're only at 2k. We potentially want to still use a Cosmic Cyclone if we get another. We normal summon Vic Viper. Him swinging brings out another Vic Viper. So together they hop up to 2400. We swing over all these monsters. Great, uh, great fly. So, yeah. Great Fly uh, lets you add a wind after it's destroyed by battle or card effect. Speed recovery is going to give him the dice back. So, was, you know, he went from no cards to three cards in a single instance. Here we bring out Gratis. Now check out this skill, guys. There's a few things this skill can do, okay? 
We can turn Gratis into Vic Viper. We can turn Grat or Victory Viper. We can turn Gratis into Vic Viper. We can turn Power Capsule into Gratis Option, or we can turn Power Capsule into Cyclone Laser. Usually, you're never gonna do that, but we're gonna do that here. Cyclone Laser, Cyclone, Cyclone Laser. Put it on the Gratis. Gain a bit, but mostly gain Pierce. So we hit the dice. For a fat amount of damage for a little so great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are going second against the Shizu. That's really more what you want with this deck, is going second. But you really need your opponent to put a monster face up, which our boy here using Gravekeepers is not going to do. He's going to search Necro Valley, set a monster. We get a Kyroid, so we can be patient now. I set a Cosmic Cyclone, he flips up a Spy. That's gonna bring out a Descendant. Descendant's going to tribute the Spy to try to destroy the Cosmic Cyclone. We're gonna use it against Necro Valley, because we do have Kyroid, so we're not afraid, especially with Necro Valley gone. I was afraid of him having a second copy of Grave Key or of Necro Valley. That was really worrying me. But other than that, not worried. He's just bringing out a very basic Dark Rebellion Dragon, not even using his effect. We get to use the Kyroid to maintain any kind of Cosmic Cyclone. Because look at that, we top deck another Cosmic Cyclone. We get to use Ryoku. Half his monster, we bring out our Victory Viper. That means we're going to destroy his monster at 3650, guys. That triggers another token, and we hit him for lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Septo Kaiba. We're going first. Definitely a second turn deck. But obviously we have first turn plays with the Kyroids. We don't have a Kyroid here. Thankfully, facing a Genuine Blue Eyes, they're not the fastest deck. They do have fast plays, but they're not the fastest deck. Here we're going to Cosmic Cyclone as Ultimate Providence. He's just left with a Maiden with Eyes of Blue. We have Gratis out. We're going to turn the Gratis into a Victory Viper. Then we're going to use our Power Capsule. Target our Gratis. Summon a token. Then we're going to Rear Yoku. The Maiden with Eyes of Blue. Why on earth would I do that to gain no attack? Just to trigger her Blue Eyes out. So now we get our Blue Eyes. But then I realized I'm not going to uh, face over it. We are going to attack his Maiden with Eyes of Blue though. Get us up to 2400. Once we destroy a monster, I get to bump us up to 2800 because you gain one of these effects. Gain 400, destroy a face up spell or trap, or summon a token. We already have the token, so we're here. He goes with an Azure Eyes. Can't get over a 2800 monster. Could destroy our 1200 monster, but uh, we're not too worried. He then gains some blue eyes in his hand. I thought he was going to use Ultimate Fusion, but it is just an alternative blue eyes which is not bad. He's going to pop my big boy though, but then can't swing at the Vic Viper. We target another Gratis. Keep in mind he only has 1600 life points left. We did a good amount of damage into the uh, Maiden. And now look at what we got. We got a Dark Rebellion Dragon done with an XCs. We bump ourselves up to four and swing for easy lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are going first against an Arcana. Looks like over 20 cards. He's using Spell Specialist, no less, too. So, pretty random deck over there. We have a Gratis. We have Vic Viper. We've got Ryoku. We've got a Power Capsule. We've got virtually everything we need. We could use Cause of Cyclone. We're facing a Chocolate Magician Girl, but he didn't use its skill, so she has nothing to summon from the graveyard, so she is not a tough customer. We're gonna use our power capsule to bump up to 1600. We're gonna use her Yoku to bump up to 2400 while he's super low. Now we're bumped up to 3600, that's 2800. That's a token of another 3600 monster, but we already have the lethal with the 1200 Big Viper. Very quick, great, great stuff. Guys. All right, here we are facing a Yugo going first. Like 30 cards, only 24 cards though. We got a Prismatic Rear Yoku. We got a Cosmic Cyclone, we got a Kyroid, so we can go real slow. We just pass our turn. He's got a Dark Magical Circle and a Legion Jester, so we're gonna keep going slow. We didn't even use our Kyroid. We're gonna set our Gratis since we top decked a Victory Viper. He brings out a Black Witch. That's a Malevolent Sin. 
he's going to banish our monster, try to hit us for 2400. We're going to actually use the Kyroid this time. We will get our Gratis back. We top deck another Kyroid. Normal summon the Victory Viper. Now we can do a level 4 Xyz. We go Dark Rebellion Dragon over his Malevolent Sin. So we're going to steal a bunch of his attack. Get nice and fat. Ooh, we're going to get even more fat. Probably shouldn't have done that since it wasn't lethal. If it was lethal, sure, but it wasn't lethal, so probably shouldn't have. But, uh, no big deal. We top deck another one. We have a Kyroid. We have a Cosmic. He has a Kyroid, so this duel is all over the place. He's going to Normal Summon Witch of the Black Rose. He's going to Monster Reborn a Fiend Jester. That's going to be a level 8 Synchro. He's got the Hot Red Dragon Archie. That's going to destroy our boy. Okay, we still have a Kyroid. Okay. Still there. We have Kyroid in hand too. But I mean, imagine. Even if we... Uh, no, well, we need the Kyroid. So we can normal summon this Kyroid, use the Ryoku, and still get over him. We top deck a Victory Viper, which is obviously way better. But we still could have beat him. He has a Kyroid of his own, but that's not going to save him from the monsters. Great, great stuff, guys. So, uh... Yeah, this deck is so much fun. I've always loved the token mechanics of Gratis, how you just get a little copy of your attack and then you manipulate your own attack. Truth be told, Power Capsule used to be a little stronger. Uh, you would think uh, destroying a face-up card would be even better, but it's still the weakest part. 400 attack is not, uh, not that, uh, well, Gravity Blaster, that's the name of that equipment. 400 attack is like a Gravity Blaster's tick, so it's, it's not that impressive. We'll find a deck to use that. Maybe a Jinzo deck would be good with that. But Jinzo has its own skills. We'll have to see. Let me know what you guys think. I know Gratis is always popular, so let me know what you guys think about Gratis too. And thanks for watching, guys.